In this video, you will learn how to convert customary units of measurement using multiplication to go from larger units to smaller units. Here is a list of different units of length, weight, and liquid volume. For length, we have the smallest unit inches, and then feet, and then yards. For weight, we have our smallest unit of ounces, and then pounds and tons. And liquid volume, in order from smallest to largest, we have fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. To convert units of measurement, first find the conversion that has the two units in the measurement chart and use that to multiply. Since we are only going from larger to smaller units, we are going to multiply because you need more smaller units to make up a larger unit. Let's work on our first conversion. Here we have three yards and we want to know how many feet that is equal to. So we will start with the number that we're given, which is three. And we will multiply because we are going from larger units to smaller units. And now we just have to look in the conversion chart and find the conversion that has yards and feet together. If we take a look at the conversion chart, the first one has feet and inches. And the second one has yards and feet. So we're going to use that one. So that means we're going to be multiplying by 3. And 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So 3 yards is equal to 9 feet. If you think of it this way, we have 3 yards represented by these squares. And if each yard is 3 feet, we have 3, 6, 9 feet. Let's try another length conversion. We're starting with 7 feet, and we want to know how many inches that is. So we're going to start with 7. We're going to multiply because we're going from a larger unit of feet to a smaller unit of inches. And we have to find the correct conversion. So we're looking for the one in the chart that has feet and inches together. And if we take a look at the first one, it says that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So we're going to multiply by 12. And 7 times 12. So we have 84 inches. 7 feet equals 84 inches. Here we have 6 yards and we're converting to feet. So we are going to start with 6. We're going to multiply because we're going from a larger unit of yards to a smaller unit of feet. And we find the conversion in the chart that works for us, the one that has yards and feet together, which would be this one. So we are going to multiply by 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. So 6 yards equals 18 feet. Our last length conversion is 2 yards equals inches. So we're starting with 2. We're multiplying because we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. And we're going to find the conversion that has yards and inches together, which is 36. So 2 times 36. So our final answer is 72. 2 yards equals 72 inches. Now let's move on to weight. Here we have 1 pound equals 16 ounces and 1 ton equals 2,000 pounds. We are going to use those conversions to help us solve these problems. So the first one has 7 tons and we're converting to pounds. So we start with 7 and we're multiplying because we're going from a larger unit of tons to a smaller unit of pounds. And we find the conversion that has tons and pounds together which is one ton equals 2,000 pounds. So we are going to multiply by 2,000 and we get 14,000. So seven tons equals 14,000 pounds. Moving on to the next one, we would do the same thing, but we just have four tons. So we're gonna do four times 2,000 and we get 8,000. So four tons equals 8,000 pounds. This last problem has us going from pounds to ounces. So we're starting with three pounds and we're multiplying because we're going from a larger unit of pounds to a smaller unit of ounces. And we are going to use this conversion because one pound equals 16 ounces. So we're going to multiply three times 16 and we get a final answer of 48. So three pounds equals 48 ounces. Now we'll do some problems with liquid volume. And if you take a look at the liquid volume chart, it will show you all of the conversions. We are starting with six gallons. So our first number will be six. We're multiplying because we're going from a larger unit of gallons to a smaller unit of pints. And we're gonna look in the chart to find the conversion that has gallons and pints together. 
which would be this one, one gallon equals eight pints. So we're gonna multiply by eight. Six times eight, we get 48. So eight gallons equals 48 pints. Let's try the next one. We have two cups, so we're starting with two and we're multiplying because we're going from a larger unit of cups to a smaller unit of fluid ounces. We find the correct conversion that has cups and fluid ounces together. So we're multiplying by eight and our final answer will be 16. Two cups equals 16 fluid ounces. Let's try two more. So we have nine pints equals blank cups. So we have nine as our starting number. We're multiplying because we're going from pints to cups, larger to smaller units. And we find the conversion that has pints and cups together, which is two, one pint equals two cups. So nine pints would be 18 cups. Moving on, we have four quarts equals blank cups. So we're starting with four, multiplying because we're going from a larger unit of quarts to a smaller unit of cups. We find the conversion that has quarts and cups together, which would be one quart equals four cups. So we're multiplying by four. Four times four is 16. So four quarts equals 16 cups. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped. Check out my Teaching Exchange Classroom for worksheets and centers, and don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos.